Who thought that episode 14, The War Mantle, would end in such a sour note? Now the situation has become so dire that Hunter is now a prisoner of the worst of the worst, which is Crosshair. Who knows what's going to happen with Hunter at this point, although we're pretty sure that he will make a round trip back to Kamino. However, what I'm most interested in is Nala Se. So Nala Se was not killed, unlike Lama Su. Lama Su was just immediately dispatched with by Admiral Rampart, but Nala Se had a different ending. She was was a scientist, and as Admiral Rampart said, the Empire has need of scientists. Now, we all know where this is going. Of course, the Empire needs scientists like Nala Se because of cloning, and we all know how the Empire loves cloning, especially Emperor Palpatine, who will be very much interested in what she has to offer, including her Kamino facilities. So it seems like the Kamino uprising will not happen soon after all, because a Kamino uprising would then g insinuate that the Kamino facilities will be destroyed. And if that happens, the Empire will have a much more difficult time in the cloning process of Palpatine and much, much more. Ultimately, it would hinder on their plans. But today I want to discuss what can we expect from episode 15 on Friday? What will happen with Nala Se? What actually Rampart did with the head scientist of Kamino? You see, the situation is particularly dire at this moment. The end of War Mantle saw Hunter being captured by the Empire and they're likely to reprogram him to be loyal to the Empire, similar to what they did with Crosshair. Although Crosshair's chip already seemed to be working, they definitely tinkered and amplified his loyalty to a degree where he is unquestionably with the Empire, and the same could be done with Hunter as well. You can imagine a team with Hunter and Crosshair would be unbeatable at this point. However, there still may be some hope, because Hunter could potentially find an unlikely ally, which is, of course, Nala Se. Nala Se is looking to escape as well, the clutches of the Empire, so both of these people have a vested interest in escaping Kamino. This is what we know so far about Nala Se. So, throughout the Bad Batch, Nala Se has worked toward her own agenda, and we have seen her willing to betray anyone to achieve her goal of keeping Omega safe from not just the Empire, but Lama Su as well. In the first episode, for example, Nala Se helps the team escape from the Empire by overriding the controls to the hangar bay door. In the episode Cornered, she hires Fennec Shand to retrieve Omega, and she clearly gives Fennec Shand instructions to keep Omega safe. These instructions carry over to the episode Bounty Lost, where Nala Se hires Shand to save Omega from Cad Bane and Lama Su's plans. In the process, she even has Fennec Shand assassinate Ton Wei, proving that Nala Se is unafraid of betraying her own people to get what she wants. In the last episode, however, Lama Su tells Nala that the Empire has plans to act against Kamino, and they begin a plan to escape from the clutches of the Empire. However, unfortunately, Admiral Rampart did discover the plot. However, in a twist, he spares Nala Se, emphasizing that the Empire needs scientist. So we all know about the outrageous speculation out there that is Nala Se was responsible of Palpatine's cloning process and so forth, but what we can definitely assume is that she was spared because they want to do a similar procedure on Hunter, the captured prisoner now, the same way she did to Crosshair. And to me, that would be the final nail on the coffin. This is exactly why it won't probably happen. This is what I think will happen in episode 15, setting up a great finale for the final episode coming next week. Now that Hunter is captured, I think there is no doubt that Crosshair has come to this planet to now transfer Hunter back to Kamino where he will be experimented on. Nala Se does not seem to have any particular affection for Hunter, although they have worked together on Kamino for presumably a couple of years. She is aware of Omega's attachment though to the team and to Hunter in particular. Now we come to the worst part, because if Hunter is actually brain wiped same as Crosshair, he then could start to reveal information vital to the Empire and, of course, put Omega in danger, which, as we discussed, Nala Se has gone to a great length to protect Omega. This is where the conflict would lie, I think. Hunter and Nala Se need each other to keep each other safe, because they both have a vested interest 
in Omega being alive and well. Nalase might also bring Fennec Shan back into the fold. I mean, who knows? If Nalase could get a message out to Fennec Shan somehow, she could be the culprit of getting them to escape from Kamino. In the process, they could take Hunter with them and hopefully get back to Omega as soon as possible. And I do want to stress this point out too. From what we know about Crosser, he has gone down a path which he thinks he cannot return, but we see a glimpse of hope even in the first episode when he was completely brought down to the Empire's control. He still seemed a bit shattered inside. So Hunter's capture might also provide us some hope for Crosshair as well. We could see him be back in episode 15 and might even possibly help Hunter escape, effectively signing his death certificate because the Empire and Admiral Rampart will not stand for that in any point in time. Furthermore, in that episode, we see that Omega was the one who was able to reach Crosshair at some point in time. When they're all locked up in the prison complex together, Omega actually gets into Crosshair's mind a little bit and they get to chat and talking, it is the only time we see an agitated Crosshair be relaxed and actually open up. All in all, episode 15 might feature a lot of Kamino, with Crosshair and Hunter being in the same place, and Crosshair not actively trying to kill Hunter at this particular moment. There is a chance that Hunter could break through to Crosshair as he will non-stop be talking to him, probably getting him to realize the error of his ways. What gives us even more hope is that Nala Se was the one who designed the inhibitor chips basically. She might know how to safely deactivate Crosshair's chip if she can be persuaded to do so, if she has a goal in mind. And as we've discussed so far, her goal will most definitely be the escape from Kamino she desires and possibly keep, o keep Omega safe with not only Fennec Shan but Hunter as well. It's crazy to think that these characters won't make it through this series because there is a great possibility that we don't see them again. We don't see them in the original trilogy movies, which is obvious out of universe reason. They did not exist back then, similar to Captain Rex and so forth. But we see that they have survived through a lot of turmoil and into the waning years of the Empire. So we could possibly get to see the Bad Batch gang escape fully from the Empire and make it through the galaxy, maybe even venture off towards the Outer Rim or somewhere, I don't know. But there's always the danger of we won't see these characters again because we don't see them in any future Star Wars material, which is beyond the Imperial Times or anything in between. So guys, what do you think about Nala Se and Hunter ganging up together and possibly escaping Kamino? Do you think that is at all possible? And what about Crosshair 2? Leave a thumbs up as well down below if you enjoyed, subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.